The Ukrainian Defense Forces in the Kursk region have a new strategy to move quickly and encircle Russian troops. As Forbes analyst David Axe writes, when Ukrainian troops breached Russian defenses at a new section of the Russian-Ukrainian border near the village of Noviput last week, it shocked many, but now their purpose is becoming clearer. A Ukrainian tactical group, apparently led by the 95th Air Assault Brigade, is cutting off the right as it advances beyond Noviput and through the southern quarters of the nearest Russian town, Veseloy. In other words, Ukrainian forces are turning towards the main Kursk salient. If the Ukrainians advancing northeast from Noviput can link up with the Ukrainians in the main sector, they will cut off potentially thousands of Russians between themselves and the border. The analyst writes, as the analyst points out, local geographic conditions favor the Ukrainian armed forces' attempts to encircle Russian forces. The Seam River forms a natural border along most of the northern edge of a potential pocket bordered on the left and right flanks by advancing Ukrainian forces. At the same time, the Ukrainian armed forces destroyed all permanent bridges across the Seam in this area, so all Russian troops south of the Seam, and there may be entire battalions of them there, depend on temporary pontoon bridges or a narrow land bridge across the town of Korenevo. It is for this reason that the Ukrainians have been relentlessly shelling the pontoons as soon as the Russians have erected them. It is also for this reason that Ukrainian troops are advancing in Korenevo, clearly intending to destroy the land bridge, the analyst notes. Moreover, David Axe points out the balance of power in Kursk could also affect the Ukrainians' chances of success in a potential encirclement. He estimates that Kiev has committed about 10,000 troops to a two-pronged invasion of Kursk. Moscow may have sent 38,000 troops to the region, but many of them are poorly trained young conscripts. Ukrainian troops have liberated two more settlements in the Kursk region. In particular, the Ukrainian armed forces have occupied the villages of Durovka and Vetryanoi, as well as part of the settlement of Zuravli. In addition, the Russian group is surrounded in Kremenoi. Last week, the Ukrainian armed forces broke through the Russian border at a new point in the Kursk region. Ukrainian forces reached the village of Veseloy and practically took it under their control. As Forbes wrote, the Russian garrison around Vesologo includes a large number of poorly trained young conscripts, and this is probably what led to the rapid advance of the Ukrainian armed forces in this direction.